This is a special KMIR News Update, Decision 2016. Brought to you by General Air Conditioning and Plumbing and the Law Offices of Jeffrey A. Weaver. And welcome back to KMIR's Decision 2016 coverage. I'm Janet Zapala. We'll be here all night long with the very latest numbers. Right now, we're going to take you out live to Rancho Mirage, where our Vince Marino is standing by. I believe you may have an interview, but certainly, what's the latest, Vince? Well, Janet, here people are still trickling into the show at Agua Caliente Casino Resort and Spa. Joining me now is Congress. Congressman Raul Ruiz. Congressman, thank you so much for joining us. We just want to get an idea of how you feel about your chances for re-election tonight. Well, I feel really good about my chances of re-election tonight, and it's based on people that are here tonight who have called thousands of uh, phone numbers, who have knocked on thousands of doors to make sure that we get the vote out today, and, uh, and I feel very good about it. Well, you can hear those people in the background clapping for you. I just want to get a quick idea. How do you prepare for a night like tonight? You know, you, you, you don't prepare for a night to, like tonight. What you do is you serve the people, and you show results, and you get the outcomes because it matters to you, because it's important for me and my family that people have a better life where I grew up in. And the results will speak for themselves. Congressman, thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Janet, for now, reporting live in Rancho Mirage, Vince Marino, KMIR News. All right, keep an eye for us uh, there in Rancho Mirage. Vince, thank you very much. Of course, Raul Ruiz running against Jeff Stone. And now we're going to Republican headquarters in La Quinta, where our Angela Monroe is standing by. Angela. Well, Janet, that's right. We are at the East Valley Republican headquarters right now, where as you can hear a lot of cheering. There's been cheering all night going back and forth as we've been seeing the numbers come in for different states. Of course, they're paying a lot of attention to who's going to be the 45th commander in chief, Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton. But there's a couple other big races. We just heard from Congressman Raul Ruiz with Vince, but Supervisor Jeff Stone, excuse me, and he's now State Senator Jeff Stone is running against him. And then, of course, also for a California state legislature, the 42nd seat, Chad Mays, who is currently the minority whip, is running. He's the incumbent. Greg Rodriguez, a Democrat, is running against him. So a lot of local races and, of course, the next president that they're watching here tonight. We'll continue to bring you updates. Probably about 75 people here tonight. Reporting live in La Quinta, I'm Angela Monroe, KMIR News. Thank you so much, Angela, and our Hank Platt, our political analyst, with us again. So what do you think uh, the prospects are for Ruiz and Jeff Stone? Oh, I think the smart money is on Ruiz, even though Stone is a very popular yeah. guy, a very popular Republican. You know, Ruiz really surprised a lot of people. He beat Mary Bono Mack yeah. uh, that first time that he ran, and that was seismic. Mm -hmm. It really was. And since then, that 36th congressional district has shifted and become even more Democratic. There are now something like 14,000 more Democrats than Republicans in the district. So that's a pretty safe seat for the Democrat. Ruiz is a popular guy in his and party. And why? Why would you say that? Well, he's pretty, you know, he's very respected as far as constituent services. He is a doctor that goes a long way. Uh, and uh, he has broken with his party. He voted against portions of uh, Obamacare. Uh, so he knows how to read his own district. All right. Very yeah. good on that. What about this uh, presidential election? We're all watching it, it's obviously, a squeaker, very isn't it? closely. Yeah, it's a squeaker. Did you think it would be this time? No. You know, I, I, all the pundits were saying that uh, Hillary, it looks like Hillary can win Florida. And if she wins Florida, it's it'll over. be over. Yeah. And we'll have an early night. Well, we are not going to have an early night. Mm-hmm. Any idea what might happen at this well, point? Well, it's, it's, it's early. It's, it's early, early. And, and I don't think people should get too excited one way or the other. Yeah. But it's not going to be an early slam dunk for either, for either of them. An interesting night, for sure. For, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, all right. Well, we're going to come back and talk a lot more about the propositions because California has how many props? 17? 17, yeah. On Overwhelming. The ballot. Yeah, that's a lot of I propositions. I know. They should pay us to vote on these <laughs> that's things. That's yeah. right. We're doing all the work, aren't we? Yeah, that's For right. the legislature. Well, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Hank, we'll get back to you. We'll see you all in about 30 minutes or so with the latest numbers. We're keeping a very close eye on things this election night. Decision 2016 will be back shortly. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, I'm